The symbol legend command will create a legend of the equipment and materials that exist on the current design. You may place the legend on the design page or another drawing page. To create another sheet of paper to serve as the legend page, click on the drawing page setup command from the file menu or click on the toolbar icon. Click on the sheet setup tab and click on the add button, enter a new name for the sheet and click on the OK button. Notice that you are now on the new sheet we just created. You can open the symbol legend command from the tools menu or by clicking on the toolbar icon. In the general settings location, select the type of legend from the legend type drop down menu. You can create more than one legend per drawing. For example, you can create an irrigation legend on one page and a landscape legend on another page. Set the rotation angle of the legend in the rotation text box. To display the quantity of each item found on the design, click on the Show Quantity checkbox until a checkmark appears in the box. If you do not want to display the quantities, click on the checkbox until the checkmark is removed. To display the part number for each item found on the design, click on the Show Part Number checkbox until a checkmark appears in the box. If you do not want to display the part numbers, click on the checkbox until the checkmark is removed. In the Grid Settings location, turn the grid lines separating the column and rows in the legend on or off by selecting the desired preference in the Grid Visibility drop-down menu. Assign a color to the grid lines by clicking on the Grid Color button. Click on a predefined color of your choice, click somewhere inside the color box, or move the slider bar to select the color assignment. You may also enter the red, green, and blue values in the associated text boxes. Once you have determined the color, click on the OK button to accept the color assignment. In the text settings location, select the font style for the legend. Click on the font drop down menu and click on the desired selection one time with the left mouse button. Enter the height of the font in the font size text box. The size is related to the units of measurement setting. For example, a setting of 10 will equate to 10 feet or 10 meters depending on the units of measurement setting. To assign a color to the font, click on the text color button and select the color of your choice. In the column header style settings location, assign a background color to the header row and a color for the header text. In the landscape settings location, select the size for the plant symbols. Click on the plant symbol size drop down menu and select the size of your choice. Relative to drawing, we'll set the symbols at the same size they are on the drawing screen. Absolute size allows you to enter a radius for all symbols in the symbol size text box. To display the plant abbreviations, click on the show abbreviations box until a check mark appears in the box. Once you've adjusted any necessary settings, click on the Place button. Set a point on the screen for the top left corner of the legend. Click on the Delete button to remove the legend from the design screen.